One of the things that we do know about the virus is that it's constantly mutating and changing. A variant of COVID that's become dominant in California is being seen more and more here in Arizona. And researchers think that it could become dominant here too. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kariva Devine. And I'm Mark Curtis. Team 12's Colleen Sikora is breaking down what this means despite the cases dropping. Out of the handful of variants scientists are monitoring, this California one is the one scientists are finding most in Arizona cases. COVID-19, it's spread, adapted, mutated, as viruses do. It's, it's a little bit of a battle between these different uh, variants. And one COVID-19 mutation in particular out of California, Dr. David Engelthaler, director at TGen North and Flagstaff, says could become dominant here too. This is an important variant in Arizona. Since December, researchers have found the California variant in about 16% of the genomes they've sequenced in Arizona. The UK variant has been found in less than 1% of the genomes. The common thread between them, they spread faster. It's like water. It'll continue to find the cracks uh, and continue to find those uh, individuals who did not have protection from vaccine or from a previous infection. Right now, the COVID vaccines still work against the variants, but Pfizer and Moderna both announced this week they're testing new booster recipes against the South African variant. What could eventually escape vaccine immunity if something like the California variant and the UK variant meet in one person, then mutate to create a new variant? Engelthaler says that's theoretically possible, but it's not his top concern right now. You could get some mixing and some commingling just like what happens with influenza, which definitely means that we have to change the, the vaccine uh, when that happens. And even as cases continue dropping in Arizona, Engelthaler is keeping eyes on COVID's RNA to see when new variants pop up or if a different vaccine is needed. We've got to keep watching this very closely. Engelthaler says the biggest thing to help in all of this is to continue washing your hands, wearing your mask, keeping your distance, and getting the vaccine when it's your turn. Colleen Sikora, 12 News.